I don't know how I dealt with this, man. It was nothing but chaos after chaos after chaos. But somehow I found a strength to make it through. Man, I'm going to tell y'all what I'm talking about. What's up, man? How y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel. You already know it's your boy, Ice, man. How is everybody day going, man? As you can tell, I'm smiling, so you know my day is going good. Excuse me for the gum. I just brushed my teeth, yes, but I like to still, you know, do the little gum for the extra fresh or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to throw it out before I continue the vlog. But... Man, I'm here. I'm back with the craziness today. Me and my depression, full frontal. You already know how it is. Um, so today, man, I'm gonna tell y'all how I was able to survive. As they say, when trouble comes, it comes in threes. And for some, I don't know how I did it, but somehow I just. I guess found the positive in everything that happened. I don't know how you can find positive in all this, but I'm going to share it with y'all, man. Stick with the boy. Yep. Alright, man. So, my chaos started off when I went to Jamaica. And I got a spot down there. And, um... Everything was all good. Went grocery shopping. Went to the market. We got fresh produce. You know what I'm saying? We got all food, all that. Because, you know, I came down. It's time to get food, whatnot. You know, just my little vacation. Trying to figure out what I'm going to eat while I'm there. Tell me why the refrigerator broke. After we spent the money buying all that goddamn food. So, you know, after the refrigerator breaks, all that food go to waste, right? Because it took a while to get Because it broke on the weekend. Ain't nobody working on the weekend like that. You feel me? So we couldn't get nobody to come over and check the refrigerator. You can't get no regular old dude to check. You need somebody that understands how refrigerate, um, refrigerators work. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, everything about the motor, the refrigerant, all that. You know, all the components and whatnot. You need somebody that has some knowledge about that stuff and how it works so we couldn't find nobody we did find somebody to take them like the end of monday for them to come through all right so that was like a day and a half two days of no refrigerator all that food went bad man so that was the first chaos you feel me and like i said man i spent all that money because when i travel i budget and i try not to ever go over my budget because it does cost money to travel you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to go with my budget. But that right there, man. Woo! That made my food budget go double. Because now I had to fix the refrigerator. Refrigerator. Oh, damn. I can't talk. I had to fix the refrigerator, which wasn't even a plan to begin with. And then on top of fixing the refrigerator, feel me? I had to go buy food all over again. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Chaos number one. It Chaos number two, funny enough, was caught on camera. Now, the reason why I'm numbering these chaos is, um, these chaos is these crisis, is because, um, we have this thing to say in Jamaica, I don't know if they say it here in the States as well, that trouble comes in threes. So, I already gave you trouble number one, and you're gonna act like a dick. I know. I already gave you trouble number one. And trouble number two, like I said, was caught on camera, which is odd. Um, so, before I show you trouble number two, I would advise that if you do not have the stomach to watch these things, step away. If you, It's not... There's no blood, you won't see blood, you won't see wounds cut open, you won't see broken body parts, you won't see a dead body. But, if you don't like to see bad things happen, then you want to get away from the camera. Giving my fair 
warning. And I think I've given enough time to give you um, a moment to get away from the camera, from the phone, whatever you're watching this on. Um, as I play this clip for you. Whoa! What happened there, Shay, you ask? A car accident. So, in Jamaica, most of our roads are two-way. One way going that way, and the other lane going this way. Unfortunately, this idiot somehow saw an invisible lane in the middle of those two lanes and decided he wanted to travel in that lane. I wasn't really paying attention fully until the last second where you'll notice my hand swings. It wasn't in time. It, 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 well, it was and it wasn't. It wasn't in time to avoid it entirely, but it was in time to save my life. Because if I had not swung away from that car, that would have probably turned out to be a head-on collision. And Lord knows it would have been straight on my side. Because with the turn that I did, he still scraped the entire right side of the car. And because Jamaica is right-hand drive, that's where the driver's seat was. Instead of where I'm sitting now, you see the steering wheel here. On the left side in Jamaica, it's on the right side. So, after um, that little fiasco, of course, Buddy didn't even bother stopping. I got slapped in the face with a rear view mirror because the, the window was down. He hit the rear view mirror, scraped the entire side of that car, slapped me in my face with the rear view mirror. So I had scrapes and bruises all on my face. I blacked out for like a good maybe five minutes or something like that. Now mind you, it's bad enough that that accident happened. But that accident also happened the day before I was supposed to come back to the States. So it just, it started piling on. And that was, like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't, obviously it wasn't planned. We were like, decided, oh, you know what? Let's go on the road today and film and hope we get in a car accident. You know what I'm saying? It just, it happened. Like, that foolish, and this was last year. This happened. Actually, no. BS. That actually happened this year, in March 2018. Mm, crazy, because I remember it happened, um, spring break, I went down to Jamaica and that's when that foolishness happened, so. Trouble number two, man. Alright, man, so. Trouble number three. <laughs> Funny enough, I had a picture of it as well, so. I'm gonna share that with you. Right now. So, as you can see, my window's busted, right? This so happened when I came back from Jamaica. Yeah, after that little accident happened, this was what happened after that, as if the accident wasn't enough for me to go through. So, I got back or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I got back and, um, you know, I, I, I was in the market looking for a house or whatnot, so I was like, all right, cool, I saw one. You know, I'm not, I wasn't too keen on, like, the different square footages of a house. Like, you see, you know, 1,500 square foot house, or you see a 1,000 square foot house. I didn't have a visual of what that looked like. So, before I decide on a house, obviously, I want to go see, I want to get certain perspectives, so I can narrow down my taste, my choices, so on and so forth. So, I get to the, I pull up to the, the house or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? My realtor's there. I'm super excited. My book bag's on the on the seat. I jump out the car, go say, hey, what's up, what's up? You know what I'm saying? We start talking, walk in the house. Totally forgot my book bag was still on the car seat. Mind you, it's my personal property anyways. Yo ass shouldn't be walking by my car, looking at and seeing a book bag and thinking, oh, I wonder if I snatch this out of the whip, what I'm going to get out the bag. Whatever. Petty petty and you ain't get shit but a map but that you can't even unlock so yeah anyways so we in there whatnot it was a windy day we went out the side door to go look at the backyard or whatnot and i know i heard a little bang so at first you know what i'm saying i'm thinking all right cool it's windy it's probably the wind 
slamming the side door or whatnot, I ain't gonna pay no big attention. Wrong. I should have took my black behind out there. I probably wouldn't have been able to save the day. But anyways, I go um finish the walk or whatnot, walk through to the house, you know what I'm saying, ask some questions, trying to educate myself on certain little um things to look for, certain expectations as far as when you're looking for a house, you know, those little things. And um come outside and I'm talking and you know, it's, it's so crazy I start telling my realtor because me and my realtor we talk on a different level alright because she also Jamaican so I'm there I'm telling her I'm like yo you know I went to Jamaica this is what happened with the fridge and after that like a day before I was supposed to come up this accident blah 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 woo, woo, I'm giving her all the rundown of whatever is going on right she's like man you know trouble comes in threes and I was like yeah well I guess I gotta get prepared for number three I look up like, yo, this is bothering me. Why does my window look so different? So I'm like, man, I'm going to go look. I go around the side of the car. I look. Glass on the floor. I'm like, you got to be kidding me, bro. So I'm like, yo, you know how you just said the trouble comes in, in threes? That's number three right there. She goes, she looks. She's like, no way. I'm like, yep, way. So, you know, I'm pissed off and whatnot. Um... But I tried not to let it get the best of me. Because here's how I look at the situation. If I get all heated and pissed off and I raise hell and I get upset and I, I argue and I work up all this energy and all that, is my book bag going to come back? Am I going to get my laptop back? Is it going to put my window back? You know what I'm saying? So all these things is what I thought about from a logical perspective. And I'm like, why am I going to let this ruin my day? So I call my boss. I'm like, yo, I took a picture. I sent it to him. I'm like, listen, I don't think I'm making it into work today. They just broke into my car. They took my book bag with my school stuff and all that. You know what I'm saying? And I have class to go to, and I can't go to class. So I'm going to spend the day trying to figure this thing out. I was so pissed off that I was driving around because I had a MacBook. So on my iPhone, my iPhone, my iPhone app, I was checking every address that that thing popped up at. And I was calling the cops like, listen, I'm going over there. I don't know if y'all want to come or not, but I'm going over there and I'm going to go find my laptop. You know what I'm saying? And they're all like, oh, you know, we'll come with you. We don't want you to go over there. I'm like, listen, I'm about 15 minutes away. If y'all can make it there in 15 minutes, y'all see me there in 15 minutes. You feel me? But I'm not going to sit here and wait for y'all. Pull up to the crib or whatnot. Them suckers pull up a few minutes after me. Go up, knock on the door. Boom, boom, boom. Yo. You know, someone stole a laptop out of my car. Did anybody in your house come in here with a book bag, a Jansport book bag that was plaid with black, green, and blue? I was like, nah, you know, it's all older people that live here, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Flea Market pops up. I'm like, yo, Flea Market's up, man. I don't know if they stopped by here or what, you know what I'm saying? So I pulled off. I went to the Flea Market. I started going to every electronic store that was in the flea market. I was asking all the people in there, like, yo, somebody came in to trade in a MacBook? Somebody came in to trade in a MacBook? I was asking everybody, you know what I'm saying? It was pinging off this specific spot. Got the cop that off knew the cop that was at the front. I was like, yo, dude, listen, I don't know if you can help me out. Here's my police report, you feel me? Not trying to cause no trouble, but I need my shit for school, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if you can help me search a spot. And just see my laptops there because it's showing that it's at this location. So he's like, all right, cool, I'll help you. So we go up there, you know, he let me search, whatnot. Excuse me. Didn't find my stuff. So I'm, you know, I'm pissed off. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. You know what? It's a lost cause. I locked it, you know, and, and to this day I'm still watching it. Like, I, I know I'm not getting that laptop back, but you ain't finna enjoy it neither. You know what I'm saying? My hard-earned money, you just come up and took my stuff out of my car. Disrespect. You know what would really piss me off more than anything else, though? The damn door was open. My car door was open. So that jackass could easily open the car and took the book back. Not only did you take my shit, but now I had to go and freaking fix my windows. I don't know if you noticed, that window is clear. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no tin on that window or whatnot. And that happened because that idiot saw my car and I guess I borrowed the laptop so he came back for it, you feel me? And 
that's how that foolishness happened. But here's how I look at the situation. Because all this happened, like I said, only a few weeks before I was supposed to graduate. You know, it was the last half of the semester. Um, the last semester I had in college. And I really needed to be focused. I didn't need all these things to be distracting me. And even though I lost my laptop. And I had to write my senior project, which was about 60-something pages long. It was halfway done. My laptop was stolen, so... I had to start that thing all over, you know what I'm saying? I was doing PowerPoints or whatnot on my iPhone, you know what I'm saying? Thank God I had this sucker, but I was doing a lot of my projects, my, my um, all my papers that I had to write, all the PowerPoints I had to do was done on this right here, you feel me? But the way I look at this, there's here is what I took as a positive out of the whole situation. My graduation story was more epic. It was no ordinary, oh, I went to school, I worked hard, I graduated. Nah, I went to school, I went through hell, niggas stole my shit, I got in a car accident last week before graduation. I get the, listen, man, that's how I look at it, you feel me? What can I do about it? There's nothing I can do right now that's going to change the situation at all. There's nothing I can say, there's nothing I can do, there's nobody I can be, there's nothing. It, it, it is what it is, it happened. It's in the history books. It's, it's, it's a done deal. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. It already happened. Ain't nothing I can do to change it. So how I just take it and make the best out of a messed up situation is just think about how epic it made my graduation story. How epic it made my story to tell people my final journey to that that, that victory. Um gate you know what i'm saying to graduate to say that i've earned my degree or whatnot this was what it was for me to get there so that's how i look at it man and, and then everything you do you know what i'm saying you got to try to find whatever little bit of ray of sunshine behind that cloud and try to make it the best you can make it you know what i'm saying things are always going to happen in life and i've noticed for some it happens a little bit more than others but just think of it as Man, maybe you a little bit stronger than the other person. So God ain't finna throw nothing on them they can't handle. And you can handle it. So that's why you getting it. You know what I'm saying? So with all my trials and tribulations I've been through, man. Can't hold me down. You know what I'm saying? But y'all already know what I'm about to say, man. Appreciate y'all for watching. Stay tuned. Y'all already know more stuff is coming on here, man. Sharing more of my little sad stories. You know what I'm saying? But as they say, what don't break you make you stronger man believe that it is very 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 true and as i've heard many times when i'm going through these down moments keep moving forward don't ever let don't ever let none of this foolishness hold you down because all it's going to do is stop your progress and it's going to make you go backwards instead of going forward things going to always happen and the day you accept that it it'll make things a lot easier so when things happen you already know and you know what man that's just one of them things I'm meant to go through. You feel me? It is what it is. It's not accepting that your life is going to be crap and your life is going to be this. And Don't look at it that way, man. You know what I'm saying? Look at it as I'm a strong person. I'm a fighter. And that's why I get this type of life to live. You know what I'm saying? But y'all stay tuned, man. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you ain't already subscribed to the channel. You already know. Like, man. Smash that like button. You feel me? Pass the content on to people who you think it can help. If it's not something that can help you, definitely pass it on to somebody that can help them. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure there's something in here that can help almost anybody throughout their day. When you go through a little stumbling block, you stump your toe, you find a little roadblock, little hard times, whatever it is. I'm pretty sure there's something in the contents of my videos that can help you stay positive and not let that foolishness hold you down, man. But y'all stay tuned. The kid got more coming. Feel me? Yeah.